Colorado is dealing with its own insider threat to election security. A Colorado judge has banned Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters from administering elections in her county after she was indicted on election security charges. How concerned should people be about these insider threats? Well, good evening. Thank you for having me, Jonathan. Uh, I, I think the country needs to prepare for what's coming. I actually addressed the nation's first insider threat when a local county clerk trying to prove conspiracies compromised her own voting equipment. Uh, so I acted quickly. I decertified the voting equipment. A judge removed that clerk from last year's elections. And then I asked my 2018 Republican opponent to step in. But you're absolutely right. We had to go back to court after Clerk Peters refused to affirm that she would follow security rules and just won again, banning her from oversight of this year's elections. Uh, but I, I think this is spreading across the nation. And my job, frankly, as Secretary of State, is to ensure that every eligible Republican, Democrat, and independent voter has access to safe and secure elections. That's why I acted so quickly in addressing the nation's first insider attack. That's also why I just led the first in the nation law to target insider threats, making it a, a felony to allow unauthorized access to voting equipment and hardening security. And I think every state in the nation should look what we're doing here in Colorado mm -hmm. and follow suit. Secretary Griswold, did I hear you correctly? Because I was about to ask you about Tina Peters, because she's supposed to be a, a Republican candidate for Secretary of State. Did I hear you say that she has been banned from the ballot? Uh, no, she has been okay. barred from overseeing her own county's elections. Got um, it. Okay. But she is actually the front runner running against me in this election. So if you can imagine someone who is under 10 counts of criminal indictment for trying to compromise voting equipment, someone who has embraced extremism, even applauding on stage as an election denier called for me to be hanged. The nation's mm. premier election uh, insider threat is running for secretary of state. We have to stop extreme candidates across the nation if we save American democracy. And if your viewers want to join me in stopping Tina Peters and the big lie, they can join me at jennifercolorado.com. So, Secretary Criswell, last question for you. What, what do you make of the Republican Party's embrace of, uh, of denying elections, of election denial? Well, I, I think it's horrible for our nation. Democracy is in peril. Americans could lose the freedom to choose their elected officials. We are seeing not only these extreme candidates run, we're seeing the worst attack on democracy in recent history. Voter suppression bills are passing. Election administration is being destabilized. The lies are attacking at confidence. And Americans are going to have a big job come 2022 elections because they're going to be able to choose between candidates who are telling us they will destroy versus candidates who will uphold the will of the people. Democracy is on the ballot, and as we saw last week, so is all of our fundamental freedoms. Whether your viewers care about protecting the right to choose like I do, climate change, the cost of living, all the progress we have made and need to make as a nation, it depends on the right to vote. Mm -hmm. Democracy and our fundamental freedoms are on the ballot, and I am so confident Americans are going to rise to the challenge to save them.